hello guys welcome back today we are going to see a uh, next question that has been requested in the comment box of other question okay so this question has been asked with the uh, the user has asked this question uh, in the comment box right and uh, so I'll, I'll recommend you to watch full videos and I have tried to cover all the things in this video. So if you really like this video, please hit subscribe this channel and uh, let me know in the comment box. Okay, so let's start. So this is uh, 1884, the egg drop with two eggs and n floors. Okay, so this is an egg drop problem, right? And uh, this is really... Uh, very important question most of the interview in the fang it has been asked right so let's understand this question and the follow-up question i will put into the comment box right so you can do the follow-up question based on this one okay so it, it is saying that uh, we have given two identical eggs okay and you have to access buildings with n floors that is leveled from some numbers right so let's understand there exists a floor f and uh, this floor is between 0 to n minus 1 right so now what we have to understand any egg drop at a floor higher than f okay higher than the f will break okay and any egg drop at the bottom or below f will not break got it means it is saying that we have given some eggs right some identical eggs we have two identical eggs we have given right and some number of floors we have given and it is saying that if uh, we drop any egg from at the floor right higher than the f the given floor so it will break or if we are not uh, going up right so it will not break just for understanding so any egg drop at or below floor f will not break or if higher it will break that's the two thing right first and two now it is saying that in each move you may take an unbroken egg and we will drop it from any floor x now it is saying that if x is greater than one and less than equal to n so if the egg breaks you can no longer use right it and however if the break if the egg does not break you may reuse it in the future moves now it is saying that minimum number of moves that you need to determine with the certainty what the value of f is right now what we have to understand here is let's suppose we have given uh, n equal to 2 and output equal to 2 so if n equal to 2 we have given so we can drop the first egg from floor 1 right because 2 floor uh, 2 uh, any any is 2 we have given right so n is 2 means what n is 2 means two floors we have given this is the first floor and this is the second floor just for just for understanding okay so this is the first floor and this is the second floor now it is saying that if the first egg breaks right because this we always have two identical eggs right two identical eggs so if the first egg break we know that f equal to zero right and if the second egg breaks but the first didn't a uh, first egg didn't uh, break right so we know that f is one right means if egg break means f equal to zero it break and f equal to one it is breaking means this has been not break right this is the meaning and if second egg is breaking means f equal to 1 so otherwise if both eggs survive right means f equal to 2 correct and that's why we can say answer is 2 let's understand another another example another example it is saying that if n equal to 100 right so it will come 14 how let's understand the how what is the strategy we have so one optimal strategy is drop the egg at ninth floor right if it breaks we know that f is between 0 to 8 right f is between 0 and 8 drop the second egg starting from first floor right 
and going up at the or at a time to find f within eight uh, more drops right so total drop will be become one to eight is equal to nine right now if the first egg does not break so we will drop the first egg right at the 22 floor right so if the if it breaks we know that f is between 9 and 21 now the second egg is starting from 10 and going up at a time to find a f within 12 more drops so total is now 2 plus 12 that is 14 so if the first egg does not break so we have to follow the similar process dropping the first egg from uh, floor 34 then six, uh, 45 like this we will follow till 100 so the regardless of the outcome it takes at most 14 drops to determine f so mainly we are focusing here to determine f right so how will determine so in this case first what we have to do first we will take the first egg right and we'll go to the ninth floor right and we will draw from there right so if it break means what we have to find between what 0 to 9 right or 0 to 8 you can say 0 to 8 because we are at 9 and if it will if we are throwing down right in the any of the floor let's suppose these are uh, floors right and let's suppose this is ninth floor between here so if we are throwing from here means the floor can be between here to here right similarly the second uh, similarly we what we will do we drop the second a starting from the first floor and we move to what eight more drops will do and we'll find the total we, we will find the f right so total drop will be what what one plus eight that is called nine right now what will happen if the first egg, egg does not break means what we have to do we will move to the 12th floor just for understanding so if it breaks we know that it will be between 9 and 21 right so what will happen we will move to that and similarly we'll find 2 plus 12 right and that is 14 so in this way we will continue the things to find f okay i think you understood so this is the easiest way you can do the uh, recursion and you will find the things but here we are using dp memory and if we will take n equal to 0 and then what we will do we will go to 1 to n and we will each time what we will find if dp is equal to equal to 0 because initially the dp contains what 0 if you are aware with the dp right so dp this is nothing but an array and it contains all the zeros value right now what will happen if it is equal to n uh, is equal to 0 means we will provide what n right otherwise will what whatever the data we have in the dp that we will provide otherwise we will take from the minimum from here right so this is the one part let's suppose this is x and this is y so if x x will come from what dp if it is equal to equal to zero means n will be its value otherwise it has the some value in the dp so initial value is zero and whatever the value calculated is have that is the uh, dp now one plus math dot uh, max will do so i minus one will do so we'll find it two egg drops right that is called n minus one so i minus one is nothing but what to uh, we are calculating from what we given some value from there we will do minus one and we'll find our total egg drops like egg drops n minus i and you will get your minimum value and that will store here we will come back to here okay now this is the dp wave so why we are going with the dp if we can do iterative or math solution right so if the iterative math solution is possible there is no need to uh, go for a dps today right what you will do let's suppose you are starting at the position one okay now if we have the uh, previous uh, value let's suppose one we are taking initially so we'll move to all the floor right one by one right because uh, sorry all, all the uh, uh, you can say x right now what we will do we will save we will increase our previous moves right plus plus and then our position will also get updated right so let's suppose we have uh two thing two uh two uh, two x we have right so what will happen initially our position is at the first floor okay here 
so if we are dropping the x from here right it means if it is breaking right so current position will re return save right that is our safe position that is one but if it is not breaking we are coming to here in the second floor means if we are dropping from here means what we have some we, it, if, it, if it is break means this is the between here to here f right so total drop is what one plus one total is two right so this time what will happen so previous mood we have one if it is not breaking we will continue this one if it is breaking we will return from here only right so this is the uh, without dp we, you can uh, implement this one okay another way we can do mathematically like we are each time what we are doing we are uh, reducing the you can say number of k right so let's suppose k is uh, we have given uh, each steps we have so initially we have k total number of x right we'll do minus one minus one uh, last in the last we will reach to one which is less than equal to n correct so the simple quadratic equation we will generate like this what k into k plus one by two that is k squared plus k by two right which is less than equal to n correct so this is the quadratic equation and we can solve this by how what we will do but this will give you the time limit exit exception uh, sorry uh, in the lead code but solution is okay right so if the floor is equal to equal to zero or one we will return the floor because we are passing what x we are passing and floor we are passing okay in this example and if the x is equal, equal to one we will return the floors both things we can do either we have only one x so we can re, uh, return that float only right now integer dot max value will take as an answer and we will move to the all the floor from i equal to one to the all the floors and we will find the similarly uh, egg, x minus one i minus one will do and that is our nothing whatever uh, that is number of x we have and i minus one is just a uh, float right so another will find what egg and the will do floor minus i so which one is come minimum that will store in mean and uh, we'll check if mean is less than answer we will update our answer equal to mean or in the after completing all these floors will return answer plus one so whichever which, which is minimum that will be your answer right and this is your uh, parameter of the solution right in which we are passing uh, n so initially float is nothing but our n and that is egg right so initially what will happen we are passing the n value so number of float is same and x is only two we have two identical x we have we are passing egg and float right so this is a recursive way it means we are calling this function to this function and sorry we are calling this function to here and uh, what will happen this will initially call this function right here recursive way to recursive way so first we will call this one then it will go there then it will go there like this it will go okay now uh, let's understand about uh, the floor is equal to zero uh, so uh, memorization way right in the same approach what you can do you can provide one memorization right so x plus one float plus one will do and from the memorization we are filling initial value minus one and then we'll call the recursive function so recursive function will come and we'll do the same operations right and what will happen we'll get your answer value here if the floor is not equal to minus which means we have already calculated and it will return from here this is the db part you know already so for all i what will happen we'll move to i is equal to one to floor and we'll calculate math dot max and we'll uh, do recursive call egg minus one i minus one another will call egg and floor minus i right a memo will pass to update our memo and we'll check if answer is less than uh, meme is less than answer we'll update our answer right and we'll return finally uh, into the memo as answer plus one okay so this is the memorization way if you want to reduce the code right what you can do we are passing the drop right so this is your floor and this is your egg right now what will happen in the single uh, dp x plus one will do increase one only one size will increase we we have the uh, previous moves right so all the moves will start from zero 
and we'll go to the all the x right which is less than, if it is less than equal to the floors we'll till that we will move and we'll make a for loop and we'll store all the value in the dp right how dp plus one and we'll do plus one and that will update our dp and finally we'll return our move so here we will check a condition so we have uh, dp of egg should be less than equal to float till that it will go and it will return your data yeah thank you so much thank you for watching this video